Hi, and welcome to the Board Game Nexus. I'm your host, Anthony. And I'm Francis. And today, we are going hiking. We're going to be playing Trailblazer, the John Muir Trail. All right, but before we do that, join us for the primer. Trailblazers gives players the experience of a 12-day hike exploring the John Muir Trail in just about 60 minutes. At its core, this is a resource management game where players need to reach the end of the trail and up the elevation track while balancing opportunities to take in the scenery and observe the field, which can result in immediate bonuses and lucrative endgame scoring through set collection. The game plays over 12 rounds, and the main goal is to reach the end of the John Muir Trail. This is the only way a player qualifies to win the game. Every round, players have a number of actions they can choose to take, with a limited number of action tokens. Players start the game with three actions each, but can gain additional action tokens throughout the game. Hiking the trail, reaching destinations, and observing the field requires players to spend natural resources. Thematically, we think of this spending as needing to have those resources in view at the time the player claims the card. Players may also be required to spend personal resources, such as water or food, to reach certain landscapes. Resources can be acquired in a few ways. First, at the beginning of the round, each player will draw then select one trail card to play. These cards have the benefit of immediate resources. Field guide cards will also award resources, or points, in a similar immediate fashion. Players can choose to take an action to gather natural resources as well. Field guide cards, landscape cards, and trail cards all contain backpack items or patches on the lower left banner. Players want to try and fill their backpack with useful items by playing these cards. If a player plays a card with a backpack item they've already equipped, they can climb the elevation trail once, potentially gaining additional bonuses along the way. On a player's turn, they can climb the trail by paying the next depicted resource on their unique map pack, discover field guide cards by paying the resources above the card location, claim a destination card by paying the depicted resources on the bottom banner, collect natural resources in one of four locations, take the first light token, making them first player next round, spend trail cards for their depicted resources, or resupply at the lodge once it's available. At the end of the game, players score points for sets of unique field guide cards, and the player who finished the trail with the most points is the winner. Which hiker will reach the end of the trail while making the most of the journey? Find out now as we show you how it plays. All right, welcome to the lovely state of California. Yes, welcome. To I'm so the, happy uh, here. the Yosemite National Park. <laughs> uh, this is gorgeous. I'm uh, at not just the game, I'm thinking like just being out there in nature, it's like all I want to do right now. Yeah, we're going to. It's very cold, so. We're going to follow the John Muir's Trail, <laughs> and we are going to climb Mount Whitney. Yes, we are. That's the goal. That is the goal, anyway, yeah. All right. But you've already seen all there is to know about this game in the primer. Mm -hmm. So we're not going to have to waste any time covering that. Take a look at the table. This is the John Mears Trail in all its glory. <laughs> and you've got um, all sorts of stuff going on here. But most importantly, as you know, here's our trail that we're going to be following. We're trying to get down to the, uh, the Mount Whitney, mm -hmm. and the Whitney Portal. Yep. Uh, we've got a weather track. We've got our elevation chart, which will be going up throughout the game. We've got all of our uh, natural resources out here. We've got our own personal resources going on here. We've got some uh, animals and, and sights to see. Yes, yeah, some, some fauna and flora. Yep, and we've also got some real expeditions to... Uh, yeah, we see some destinations yeah. while we're on our way, right? Yeah, and yeah. so in each, each part of the trail, get to check out those destinations and hopefully you know, capture those moments Yeah. Uh, and bring them with us, right? So this is all about experiencing the trail as we walk up it. Um, and then we have to feed ourselves and and and, what, and water ourselves at the end of each night, <laughs> right. like like a couple of pack animals, right? <laughs> so, um, all right. With that said, we have uh, we each start with our own uh, map pack, and yep. they're different map yes. packs. So we're gonna have different re uh, resource requirements for each leg of the trail that we're climbing each round. 
uh, if we so choose to, which you better, because if you don't finish climbing the trails by the end of the game, you're you are not eligible. You're to out. Win. Yes. Oh, and then we also have two of these um, uh, trail cards mm -hmm. that we're going to be uh, you know using to play uh, during the first uh, the sunrise phase of the game. So you're going to start with player one. Mm -hmm. uh, since you were the last person to go out on, on a hike. I think I was the last person to go on a hike, actually. Yeah, we'll see. Either <laughs> way, it's fine. All right. Cool. So I'll just, uh, I'll you just jump in and with, get started. Yeah, you draw yeah, a card so. and you play a card. That's yes. how this rolls. Um, let's see. Okay. I guess I'll start with this. So... Uh, so the way, and, and I explained this during the primer too, but the way mm -hmm. these trail cards work basically is that you're going to have two icons on them. One is going to be a resource that you will obtain, and the other is a backpack item. Or you could have um, one or the other, or both. Right. Or So in this case, I, um, and they're all kind of like experiences, mm -hmm. right? Then they could be good or bad. Good or bad. In this case, very good. I see a double rainbow. Oh, nice. Right? Mm -hmm. So um, I am actually going to, uh, I have this camera backpack item. My backpack is empty right now. Mm -hmm. So I am going to uh, activate my camera. So I'm loading into my backpack a camera, make sure I get that shot of the double rainbow. Mm -hmm. And also now I have a camera equipped for later on for other things that maybe I, I'm going to need that for. Yep. Um, and then I also get one of those. Can you grab me one of those cloudy tokens, please? Thank you. So she's noting the cloudy weather. It is cloudy. So I will just collect yeah. these for discard. Um, so that's her turn. Now it's mm -hmm. my turn. I get to draw a card, play a card the same. That's how we start our sunrise every day. Ah, and I have a similar event. Uh, it's a good one. It's a positive one. So the greens are positive. We're playing with a, yeah, uh, a variant now. So there are, there are obstacles mm -hmm. and there are sort of like good events that happen, right? So the green ones are all good. The red ones are bad. Not so to speak bad, but they're like... It's like you got a blister. Right, so here, for example, I have a red, a red card yeah. called sore, sore Feet. Yeah. Now, normally you would play it You would play it just like any other green card. It doesn't matter. Uh, but in, in the version we're playing, is it's a little more thematic. Where, yeah, I like it. Where yeah. if you don't have the item that's required, you don't get the benefit. Right? right. So with Sore Feet, I need a chair, mm -hmm. and that'll give me health. <laughs> like a porch chair? Like that, yeah, like a porch chair. <laughs> that makes sense, right? So uh, we're going to play it that way, and I think it makes it's just more thematically. I think that's the only way you should play this. Mm -hmm. uh, but okay. I am going to enjoy the Milky Way. So it's my first evening oh, on the trail. Nice. I'm going to look at the Milky Way. It's actually going to leave earn me a badge, the Leave No Trace badge, mm. because we're so good at, at picking up after ourselves. We sure are. Um, and I'm also going to gain you know, a little bit of weather. Mm-hmm. So now we have a limit of 12 of these uh, natural yeah. resource tokens that we can have. In um, and before we forget, I want to draw our weather token oh, for the we day didn't do that. because yeah. we didn't do that. Sorry. Um, they're not over near me. So because this, this could potentially change what trail cards you yeah. decide to grab. Um, in this case, our weather is going to be extreme heat. Mm. So again, these weather tokens, most of them are, are pretty good. It's either like sunny, partly cloudy, something like that. Right. Uh, but we do have some extreme weather that we're going to encounter. And day one, this is rough. Yep. So, um, so what we're going to do is basically, as we're hiking down the trail, it's going to cost us resources per our map pack, but it will also, in this case, cost us an extra water because of the heat. It's so, so we hot need out. To make sure we are hiking. But it only affects when you're hiking. Exactly. So right. the fact that we pulled it later doesn't really matter, unless you wanted to play a card to earn yourself to more, earn water, more water. But at the start of the game, is, again, it's again, it's not really going to matter. Yeah. But um, but that's it. So that's the sunrise phase, and then mm -hmm. we go into the uh, the daytime. Yep. Where we just play our actions. Now we have three. They're called tracks. They're just your little boots. Mm -hmm. um, and we're going to take three actions out on the board, um, and that's it. And then we're going to close the uh, the sunset. Yes. Okay. I think I will. I think I'll go ahead and I'm just going to start hiking because mm -hmm. I know I need to do that. So, so you're oops, gonna I'm going to go over here. Sorry. <laughs> yep. I'm going to go there. And so I, when I look in my map pack, and again, these are unique, mm -hmm. to move on to the first uh, segment of the trail is going to cost me a fire. So um, I'm going to pay that. And I'm also going to pay my water because I'm hiking mm -hmm. in the in the extreme heat. Yeah. Ooh, so there we go. So that's your action. That's so yep. I get to go now. And I will hmm, look at what's going on. There's some pretty cool stuff going on here. Mm -hmm. And I think what I'll do is I'm going to take this this golden trout. Mm. 
just because he's an interesting card. So what he requires is two um, unequal resources that are not water. Yeah, so I'll natural pay, resources. I'll pay weather and I'll pay wilderness or trees. Earth, yeah, trees. And I take the, uh, the golden trout. I gain the reward, which is two water. Um, and a fishing rod for my pack. So since I don't have one, I will place one in my pack. And now I have one for the next time I run across a golden trout. I will mm -hmm. catch even more. Nice. That's right, good. So that's your turn. So that actually, my action goes underneath where that card yes. was. All right. And I think I'll follow suit. Because mm. <laughs> I want this giant sequoia. Okay. Oh, those rivers are so good, though. They are pretty good. Yeah. The river cards are neat because they let you take your trekking boots back again. Yeah, it's just like a free action. So it's like almost like taking it for free, but not for free for free, but at least in terms of your boots, right? Well, Put those back yeah, for so me. it gives you an extra action. Yeah. This is going to get me a fire token mm -hmm. and three points. All right. And I will comically... <sighs> go up and try to move this oh one two three okay all right so i guess we can oh push... and i get a patch too uh, go ahead okay sure you can push <laughs> me up on the uh john Muir's trail so i'll go look at my first item now it's a cloud so i'm gonna pay my cloud and my extra water because mm -hmm. of the weather uh, how sunny it is so yes. that's what that cost me and that's it okay great um so what am i gonna do We only start with two tracks. Three. You've taken two actions already. Oh, I have. <laughs> I can't keep. I can't keep track. Can't keep tracks. <laughs> I can't keep tracks. That's for sure. Now um, note that the High Sierra Lodge is unavailable. We're not there yet. That's yes. actually further up the uh, the trail, and it's it's once we reach uh, segment number four. Right. Do we unlock the uh, High Sierra Lodge? Um, hmm. I think I might just go here and I'm just going to grab a bunch of water. Yep. So you can grab four. So for the natural resources, you can grab four water. I think three. Yeah, it tells you in, there, right? it tells you in three the picture. Three, trees. two weather and one fire. Yes. So I just have some water for my adventures here. That's good. That is very good. Um, I'm going to grab some weathers because I'm out of them. So I get two of those for my action. Nice. It's good to stock these up because these help you plan your plan your uh, excursions, mm -hmm. if you will. Yeah, all right, sure. so that was daytime. We've done mm -hmm. all of our actions. Sunset now, uh, where we consume one food and one water. Right. And that's a water bottle. And, and a pot food. of food. <laughs> now you could spend at this point two water to exchange for a water bottle. Mm -hmm. It's like you're putting your water into a canteen yeah. at the end of the day. Or like filtering it through one of those. Maybe. You know. We're boiling devices. it. So now we uh, yeah. we get all retrieve all of our tracks back. Bring them back to your player boards, um, and then we resolve first light medallion. But none of us took the first light medallion, mm -hmm. which is just taking player one. So um, throw since, water up yep, there because we have to took do that. that. We put water on it, um, and then we pass the. Um, we have to refresh the field card. So actually, this one, yeah, I'm gonna be first player. So this one goes um, out of the game. Mm -hmm. Everything slides over, yep. and then you know, as per normal, refill the cards. Wow, lots of rivers coming yeah. out. Oh, wow. Okay, lots of trees. Hmm. So that refreshes every uh, every round, and then we um, yeah we pass the thing, and then we go on to the yeah. second day. So cool. So pretty, you're actually up. Pretty straightforward. So first, let's do our weather first this time. Yeah. So we'll grab a weather token, and we have Ooh, cloudy day. Cloudy. So that doesn't really mean anything. Nope. No, uh, no benefit, no, no, yeah. uh, no detriment. <laughs> so I've got my two cards. We're starting the day. Draw weather, and they draw one of these cards. Ah, nice. Whew. All right, I'm gonna play this one. So this card is called Find Wild Berries. Now I can mm. get either two trees or one food. I'll take the food. Food is good. So you get to go. That's okay, I'm gonna do this for sure. Rose Lake. Hmm. Um, now, I already have the camera, mm -hmm. so I just grab it on my backpack. What this allows me to do is uh, is actually use the item, and that allows me to go up the elevation chart. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to start my little tent down here 
on uh, on the first Happy Isles location of the elevation chart. Yep. Uh, and that'll move up and get me some stuff and hopefully earn me some points. Uh, but yeah, I also get a water and I get a bottle of water. All right. So that That's is a water for cool. you. So now we are on to actions. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to start out by. I'm going to go to a destination. All right. So we're on the green destination cards right now, which is yeah, what's in the offer. Yep. Uh, and we have to pay those symbols. Yeah, so this is what you, this is your backpack item. Mm -hmm. And then you have what you're going to pay. And then you have how many points you're going to get. And this is just your set collection. That is right. So I'm probably going to do the, hmm, probably the, the duck pass. Duck pass. Yeah. Okay, that's going to be a water, a tree cloud and a bottle of water and a bottle of water well it's quite expensive yeah. but you get the duck pass and that's four points duck pass is uh, four points I have the mountain symbol now so I push up my mountain Oops, he's gonna come down I push up my mountain and I gain yes. these resources right because you want to collect one of each of these symbols mm -hmm. uh, these destination types I also get these uh, ski poles to help me mm-hmm so I've got a bunch of, uh, of things triggering here. Wow. So I've got one. So by filling this bottom row of my backpack, I get any resource. Yeah. And by moving up the mountain, I get two of any resource. So I get three of any of these natural resources right now. So I'm yeah, gonna that's take, great. Um, I'll probably take two trees and um, a water. Oh, no, a cloud. Because these are harder to get. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Okay. My turn? Yeah. Hmm. What do we have down here? Oh, Cooper's hawk. Mm-hmm. It's like the only bird that we have out right now. Oh, uh, yeah, that he is. Sometimes it's like all birds, though. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Um, okay, I'll take him. Cooper's hawk. So that's, so that's going to be a water, water and, a and a tree. And he gives me a hammock, mm -hmm. which gives me a natural resource because I filled this up. Mm -hmm. Plus I get a cloud. cloud. So what do you want for the so natural resource? So I'll take the tree. All right. And the tree. I will. Mm, I will probably take. These are pretty good. Mm -hmm, they're all pretty good. Yeah, like this one's kind of nice. I like it. So I get to pick two. I'll take a tree and a cloud to pay for this one. And what that's going to give me is binoculars. Mm -hmm. Put them in my pack. And I'll take, I could either take a badge mm -hmm. into my pack or I could take fire. And I'm going to take the badge <laughs> into my pack. Like, why not? You yeah. Know? Well, plus we're also getting, um, for this game, our bonus at the end is for each backpack patch we get mm -hmm. points. So I've got so. two packs, uh, two bad, um, patches on my pack. Patches. Patches. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think we'll go over here, and I'm actually going to swipe this just like really cheap Nevada Falls. Mm. Yeah, that is a cheap so one. So cheap. It also only gives you like one point, but that's okay. Oh, I didn't get my points for mine. That's four points. Oh, did you give them to me? You did. I did. Okay. I, I got you. Just want to make sure. I got sometimes you. she likes to pretend I didn't get any points. <laughs> Wait, I'm going to do this. I get my Swiss Army knife mm -hmm. icon. I get one point. Oh, God. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. Uh -huh. I'm so pregnant right now. Okay. Um, and I push up my orange. Mm -hmm. And that allows me to draw, oh, two, draw two. Keep one. Keep one. And your limit and is four my now. limit is now four. Yeah, I will go ahead and replace this card. All right. Um, mm. Now for my yeah, I'll get rid of that action. Do I want one of those? I mean, that's not a bad one for cheap, but it's so cheap. It's cheap. That is a good one. I think I might want that. Okay. Just for fire and wood. Mm, yeah. 
The Devil's Post Pile. Mm, the only problem is, you know what? What? Um, uh, I need to move up the trail. Like, the whole premise of this game is... It is, yeah. So, it's really interesting up. because this is very much... It's not really like a... It's, it's not a me. race to the top, it's but me fire. you need to make it to the top. You so do. you really have to balance. There you go. I progressed. Moved up one spot. Okay. I am going to do the same thing. Over here. <laughs> I always do that. I don't know why. I think because these like already have boots on them. Yeah, it looks like, it the, looks pieces like the pieces are already there. So that'll cost... So. I don't even know what that costs you. It's going to cost me a water... Per my map pack. Uh, okay, so one water. So one water it is. All right, so we are at sunset. We're going to consume food of water. I don't have a bottle, mm -hmm. but I do have two water to convert to bottled water. And I have food. I have both. All right, and we are now retrieving our tracks. So yep. These, nobody took that. Get my tracks back. Uh, one, two, and three. Trashing this one. Mm-hmm. Slide these guys down. down. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, frog. Ooh, a frog. Cool. Oh, and a pretty flower. Uh, you are player one. Yes. And we are on to the next day. All right. All right. All right, so we're starting day number three. Day three. Yes, your weather, your weather tracker is also a... Round tracker. Round tracker. Oh, that's not good. Thunderstorm, so extra fire. Oh, extra fire. <laughs> that is terrible. I think All I right. might just set up camp here for the day. <laughs> so you actually draw a card and play a card. Yes. Okay. Lead us off. What do you oh, got? Oh, not good. That's not good. Um, let's see, what do I need? Ugh. Maybe I'll do this and grab some, grab some binos. You call them binos, mm -hmm. binoculars. They're binos. Um, I'm going to watch coyotes at play. Mm -hmm. Isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. Harmless. Harmless and happy. <laughs> looking at them through binoculars. Yes. All right. So, ah, let's do that. We'll soak our feet in a cool stream. Oh, that sounds nice. Some water and some health. That's good. Can we use a little more health. And some water. All right, so we are at the point of you taking actions. So okay. What are you gonna do? Um, I will. I don't know if I want to hike today. To be honest with you, it's not a good day for hiking. That's for sure. No. Um, but I could go and I could go like discover something. Mm -hmm. Actually, you know what? I'd like to do this. I'm gonna take this alpine lily. Okay. And that is going to be a water and a cloud. Mm -hmm. And this is pretty neat. Um, so I get to equip my backpack with these poles, um, which gets me any one personal resource, mm -hmm. um, which is not what this icon is probably going to be that is once this is in like? production. Um, I'll take a bottle of water. Or do I want food? I'll take food, actually. Mm. Thanks. And you get to draw... A card. Yeah, and I get to draw a card and I get the bonuses yeah. like right away. So, yes. Oh, it's a river card. It's a river card. So I get two points mm -hmm. and I get to take my boots back. Take your shoes back. Take those shoes back. Yes. And I get to keep those in mm -hmm. my little set of things. All right, so where do we want to go? I'm going to need to get some resources here because I am. Out. Out. <laughs> I'm not very flush with resources. So I think I'm just going to grab some. Oh, I forgot to put the water on this last turn, right? Turn one. One, got two. One, no. Two, no. You're, you're this good. is our third day. Okay, so yeah. it's good. So it's like, do I want to take that? I know. Do you want to wait? Or wait for there to be more water on it. There's only two water on it. Yeah, I'm going to get first player next turn anyway. So I'll go here and take the four. That's mm -hmm. always nice. Mm hmm. That's good. I don't know if discovering anything is worth it right now. Mm. I was looking at those Tulumlin Meadows. Tulum. Tulum. <laughs> Tumaline, <laughs> Tumaline. The Tulumlin Meadows. Oh, man. Or do I want to go investigate some frogs? Hmm. Maybe I'll do the frogs. Go back here. 
there. Get rid of these guys. Um, but I actually get a resource of any mm -hmm. type. So I think I will keep my water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I have the Yosemite Conservancy mm -hmm. already. So I get to go up one on the elevation track. All right. So let's go with a, um, I'll go here and take this tree, which is um, going to cost me a water and a tree. But it's going to gain me, I'll take a fire, mm -hmm. um, and a GPS. And it's going to give me a personal item, I'll take a bottle of water. Nice. All right. Here go. Good. I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna do it. They're calling to me, like I need to go here. Hmm. So I'm gonna spend a water, oops, and two trees and clouds, all of my stuff, hmm. all of the things that I see. I'll give you all of this stuff. There you go. Mm -hmm. And I get the tul Tulum Meadows. Um, I also have the, it says also the Yosemite Conservancy, so I go up one more, okay. and I get a thing. Let me see. It's so expensive for me to be traveling up there anyway. I'll take the clouds back. Okay. And I'm going to move up four points. One, two, three, four. For taking that. All right. Bring the next one up. <sighs> so, much re so much reaching. Oh, wow. Oh, like Gem Lake. I like, I like that Lake. one. All right, so I'm going to just spend my last action and move up to here. Wow. That's going to cost me fire mm -hmm. uh, and water oh, for okay. my map piece. Got you. That's not bad. Yep. Your turn. Mm. And I will... Um, Use some stuff. Let me, uh, I'll just go here and grab three of these guys. All right. Well, that ends the day. So consume your food and water. Mm -hmm. Here we go. One food and one water. There you go. All right. And now we retrieve our tracks. Do you have another one? Oh, that one. You do. Yes. Somewhere. Oh, wait, um, I forgot to do something. What did you forget to do? I grabbed this. I get to oh. go up this way. So I get one backpack. Mm -hmm. One backpack. Item. Item. Yeah. Non-badge. Yeah, it has to be something else. I think I'll take it. Let me one of these. First aid kit. Yes. Oh, all the trees are coming out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mountain dogwood, alpine chipmunk. And a coyote. Oh, very nice. All That's right. the coyotes that play that I was watching. It is. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to skip ahead. Um, yes. We're going to play a little bit more. We'll come back uh, as we get a little bit towards mid-game, and then we'll play a few rounds. Play, we may play another day, and then we'll jump, come back towards the end of the game and then finish it out. Yes. All right, so we'll see you in a bit. Okay, so. Mid-hike. <laughs> <laughs> We've uh, pushed it up. We're on day number eight out of yes. twelve. So we pushed a couple of days um, up the up the trail. Yeah. So a couple of things have happened. Mm. Um, as you're moving up the trail, once you get to uh, seg like segment five of the trail, you move into the blue destination territory. So actually, mm -hmm. all of those green cards go away. The blue ones come out. They're a little um, a little more difficult to obtain, I guess. Um, more expensive, but, but more points. But more points, which but. is really cool. So those came out. Uh, what else do we have? We both have uh, a lot more hiking boots. Yeah, we've, got, we've acquired some <laughs> so extra boots. So uh, we've acquired some extra boots by moving up this elevation chart. Uh, we've experienced some not so great weather and some really nice weather. Yep, I so. completed the um, the destination. Yes, you did. Oh, we actually we both did. You just did it first. I did it first, so I got yeah. I gained this um, the sequoia medallion. Sequoia medallion. So I'll get some points for that at the end of the game. Um, but otherwise, we're still. Still trucking trucking along, along, so yeah. we've got access to the High Sierra Lodge. So we're able to go and, and, and get some resources uh, mm -hmm. when needed, but... It is needed. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to just start by going here. Okay. 
Oh, nice. It just gives you water. Yeah, I'll just, it's a good bottle of water. It's tough to come mm -hmm. by. And it gives me, it's a, it's a river, so my boots do come back. So oh, it's basically a free yeah. action to take that bottle of water. That's great. Oh, yikes. I should have traded in my waters for bottles of mm. water before. <laughs> That's not great. Mm -mm. I need to do that, though, because to move my next map, I need bottled water. Can I get two of those? Oops. Thank you. The, the High Sierra Lodge. I know. Um, all right, so. Eek. I'm so out of, I'm out of natural, I know. <laughs> like completely out of natural resources. So I'm going to, I might as well just take the, yeah, take the big the one. big dog. So I'll take this first player marker guy. Yeah. More water's on it. That's your move. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I need a water. Yeah, Hopefully that's this, for sure. This turn's going to be just get resources because I can't get anything. Yeah. Um, oh, let's see, I could possibly, hmm, I'm coming up on another one of these medallions. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Just thinking about what I need here. Cause that would give me like some fire back. I'm just, whew, I'm just so light on mm. stuff I need. I'll take it anyway, the juniper. So that's gonna be a fire and a water. Mm -hmm. Those two to put away. Uh, oh, it's giving me a fire back, so I'll keep that. Um, and I do have the poles, the hiking poles. So mm -hmm. that moves me up one. And that's where I get to grab another one of these medallions. Mm. And I think I'll take this one for each destination tile. Max seven, because I already have a bunch. All right. So we take some trees. Three of them, to be precise. Okay, I'm going to hike, because I have to. <laughs> mm. um, now to move to segment six... Um, I have to pay a bottle of water. That's my requirement. So there's a bottle of water. Mm -hmm. And uh, I also have to, there's this requirement for sleep. Mm -hmm. Oh, whoops. Some of these icons are printed upside down. Okay. There we go. There's that. So it's for napping. And that's up here. that. <laughs> so I'm going to do the same. But mine's actually going to cost me, according to my book, sleep and sleep. Oh, wow. So it's a double sleep. Mm. But I have plenty of sleep because I been well rested. <laughs> well, that's time. good. So I'll get up here. Um, put my token out. Your turn. Oh man, oh man. I'm gonna go here and get mm. free food. Yeah, I'm gonna do the same. So just hitting up the lodge for sustenance. Yes. To end the day. Is that your last action? No, I have one more. All right. And what is it gonna be? Um, hmm. I guess I might as well grab more water. Mm. Always good to grab mm -hmm. lots of water. You're limited, I don't think we said this, but you're limited to 12 of the natural resources yep. in all. So I'm going to go ahead and pay my food and water for the day at sunset. Me too. this food and water and I'm gonna make a water actually can you pass me a water bottle mm -hmm. I don't know why I'm giving that to you I don't know <laughs> thank you there you go one two three and four okay all right nice so oh, you, you say first player that, actually so I actually will put that back yep and I will remain first player this round mm-hmm um, and we're going to get rid of some cards here. Yeah. Get ready for the next day. We Sunset got... Creek. Ah, some more rivers. Interesting. Oh, nice. Um, all right. You hmm. want to pull the weather? I'll pull the weather. Yep. And we are rainy, so it's going to cost you a treat. 
Oh. An extra tree. Okay. So you're going to need some cover. Well, yeah, I was going to say, like, maybe, like, you're needing to walk through the forest mm. a little bit, so. All right, so we're going to go ahead and continue uh, continue on our yeah, our, our trail, journey. <laughs> our journey. So we're getting there. So we've only yes. got one, two, three, four days left, including today. Right. Um, we'll come back right as we're about to finish. Well, we'll play through day 12 and final scoring with you guys, and then uh, yeah. we'll call it. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. All right, welcome back. We are just about to start day 12. We can see Mount Whitney. We are just about to the Whitney portal, yes. ready to climb to the summit mm -hmm. on our last day. And yes. it is a sunny day. Oh, what a nice way to end our mm -hmm. trip. We had, uh, <laughs> we had good weather on the back On the, the back, back end of this. Yes, this is good. It is good. All right, so let's start with our, our cards. All right. Um, Sunrise. So let's see. What Just one doing? for you, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Sometimes you just gotta, hey, you know. you know what? <sighs> um. Oh, that's nice. I guess we'll do this. I'll climb a tree. Mm, go climb Why a tree. Why not? <laughs> um, so I'm already at the top of the elevation chart. Mm -hmm. So I can't go any higher than that. Um, so even though I have this pocket knife. I'm, all I'm going to get is a tree. Yeah, go climb a tree. Um, I had a uh, an obstacle card called Not Feeling Well. I wasn't feeling well because I didn't eat at all the prior uh -huh. evening because I ran short of food. So I've got two of these, uh, these hardship, tokens. hardship tokens that I need to get rid of before the end of the game. But this card allows me to get rid of one if I have a first aid kit. And I do. So Which that's do. one down, one to go. So that's a good way to start off. Um, and because I have that first aid kit, I'm going to go up one of the elevations. That's so good. You start us off with the actions. Actions. Hmm. Um, do we put our water drop on you that? You took it last round, so it doesn't get any water. Oh, I did take it? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. I needed water. You took all the water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, okay. Wow. So many things. This is um, a very attractive looking pass. That you could do. Well, I say go for it. I've got my goal set on the summit this round, so I don't think. I know, no, I, I can't do that. That's yeah, way I don't too think expensive. That's gonna be. Um, yeah, as a matter of fact, I think I will go ahead and just do my hike first. Mm -hmm. Now this is interesting. So to get to Mount Whitney, um, in my case, I have to pay a food. So here's a food, mm -hmm. um, but I also have to pay a pair of boots. Well, you put two action tokens yeah. down on the. Uh, so, like, essentially, yeah. extra hard it's to get extra to. hardship to get up the to the peak. Um, and we have to pay a health token. Wow, so much. So, so much, but I have made it. You've made it. You made it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just go here to Boop. Mono Creek, and pay water and a tree. Get two points. Boop boop. And get my my boots back. There you go. Get your boots back. Mm -hmm. yeah, that is good when you <laughs> get your boots back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I have like no resources right now, which isn't great. Um, and we have a max on these too. I think we can hold four of each four of food, the food and water. Three sleep and three health. Three sleep and three health. And I have, because I have uh, this thing that gives me one point for each personal resource, mm. max of six. I know I'm going to spend one of these at the end. So it's going to be two. Mm. Um, but I can't hold three food right now. Yeah, that would be a waste. Yeah, I don't really need anything else. Um, and we have these, this nice Cure Siege Kearsage Pass, which is kind of nice. Um, okay, maybe I'll go up here and I'll just grab two of these. Hmm. Oh. All right, I'm going to take this action here where I get to draw two and play two for the resources. Um, I'm going to play, and you don't get to play them for the... Um, the backpack item. So I'm going to get a fire from this one. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to play really sore feet. I do have a port chair, so I'm going to get a health <laughs> token for that. 
<laughs> All right. Your so invention. Those, those are my two, my two card plays. <laughs> hmm. Here. You got me some Z's. Some sleep. Yep. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and play. Hmm. I'm gonna play here for water and fire. Hmm. And that's gonna get me my boots back. Wow, really? You're thinking about this? And give me a food. All right, you'll be ending this game as a solo game. A solo player. Solo play. All right, your turn. Uh, I'm gonna go up here mm -hmm. and take the Kirsage Pass, which is gonna cost one of each of these things, plus a sleep. But that's going to get me nine points. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. I've got quite a few moves left. So I've got you do. two like more moves, moves before I have to end. I just wanted to make sure I had enough. Oh, that's right. That's why I was like, I feel like a little light this time. Two waters? What's that? On my boots. Oh. Uh, but it's because I had to spend extra boots. Yep, so I've got one more boot I can kind of free play here if I can afford. Mm -hmm. And I can. I can afford this. Well, let's bring this one out and see what it yeah. is first. Yeah, we did switch over to the mm -hmm. red cards. I don't have an extra food or fire for that, so I can definitely do this one. Up. So for a water, a tree, and a mm. cloud, mm -hmm. I can get... Up one here, plus six points. Nice. All right, and then I've got my last two. You're out, right? Yeah, I'm out. Yeah, my last two are going to be to traverse to the top. It's mm -hmm. going to cost me a health for that. Plus, in my book, it's the extra boots plus a bottle of water, which I do have. Very good. So I made it to the summit along with you. Yes. Cool. But you were first, though. Yep, so I'm going to get five points for that. One, two, three, four, five. And one, I was also three, first one, two, to make three. it to this. So you'll get elevation one, two, track. three, four, five, six, seven to my. I think I get four for second place. But mm -hmm. I'll pull the book. Yeah. Always good to go through the book. Yeah. For <laughs> just to see where we are for scoring, because I know you're very particular about all that. <laughs> all right. So we didn't have any hardship tokens. I was able to get rid of. Oh, you know, I didn't get rid of my last hardship token. Yeah. Uh, four you, points. Didn't you have a plan for that? I did. Oh, you but were going to go there. One, yeah. two, three, four. No big deal. I made up more points than mm -hmm. it was going to cost me anyway. Uh, medallions. Um, so uh, you reached the top first. So you did get this oh, one. Oh, yeah. True. So you forgot to take that. Yeah. That's worth one per player to a max of four. So you're going to get two points for that. Um, none of us had the uh, player one marker, but I had this one, and I get two per player. So I'm going to get four points for that. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. I have the trailblazer. That's, That's worth only two, two points. points. Yeah. <laughs> One, two. <laughs> All right, so your field guide card sets. What do yes. you have on that? Okay, so I have, and they are groups of uh, five unique mm -hmm. makes a set. So two, three, four, five. I should have three. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, Four, five. Yes, I have three sets of five, so it's mm. 21 points. Three sets of five. Mm-hmm. And there's seven points each. Wow. All right, 21 points. I didn't have any sets of five. One? You didn't have any sets of five? Mm -mm. Oh. I barely collected these. Uh -huh. So I have sets of three, so that's worth two points, four points, Five points, six points. Yeah, so I got six points in these cards. Okay. All right. And then... Your journey bonus award arrowheads. Yes. What do you have got? So I've got three for each got? type, for each exploration type for a 12 of total. Two for each exploration type, eight for total. What? So if you have two of each, so I have to have like pair, different sets Pairs. of each, right? So... I don't even know if I collected the right ones. So I've got two of those, two of those, two of those, two of those. So I've got two sets of, yeah, eight points. Okay. Eight. I have um, 
One for each destination tile, max seven. I have eight, so I get seven points for mm. that. Um, one for each personal resource, max of six, mm. um, which I think we still do need to, f to feed our people. Yeah, we do end the day. Like, you do have yeah. to finish out the day. We see you feed your people. Yeah, because that'll be minus two points. There you go. So that's two people. Um, and then six, one for each backpack gear, and I have all of them, so that'll be six points. Five. I think so. that's all you score. Yeah, that's it. That is it. That is all you score. So... I'm exhausted. I'm ready to go sleep in a hammock. Let's talk about it. All right, there it is. The John Mears Trail Trailblazer. <laughs> he says that because that's my maiden name. And that's not the name of the game at all. <laughs> so. Sean Mear, right? Mear, Mear. It's Mere? close enough. I don't know. Anyway, it's a beautiful trail. Yes, it and is. we have we have climbed to the summit, which is fantastic. It is. We made it to the um, end. Uh, and so let's uh, let's kind of like recap. So again, this this is another one that we, as we're playing, we're like have to keep reminding ourselves that this is prototype. Mm -hmm. um, everything looks really nice. I'm yeah, just yeah. to say personally, like the art style and, and the graphic design and everything is right up my alley. Very pretty. Yeah. Um, so it's pretty to look at and it's organized in a way that makes sense. Um, obviously there were some things I think on the board, there's some text that's missing, that sort of thing. Yep. Um, which is why we don't go into too much detail about that. But, um, if this is anything, any kind of indication about what mm. the, <laughs> the production is going to look like, um, I, I'm, I'm very happy with it. Yeah. So if you like, that's why we don't review mm -hmm. prototype games or particularly Kickstarter right. games, unless they're like a reprint or unless they're like, hey, you know what? These, the rules are final. Cause sometimes they'll tell us rules are final. You've yeah. got the final rules. You've got the prototype. There's nothing changed, but a little bit of color tweakage. Right. You could easily say, you know what? Yeah, this game is awesome. I love every bit of it, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. Th they're still tweaking the rules here. Um, Cause I definitely don't think the rule book is in its final state. Yeah, I think it's like, it's close. It's close, but, but it's definitely not yeah. final. Um, the art's definitely missing some stuff, but mm -hmm. I think overall, like it's on a very, strong trajectory to be a very good game i think it's it's definitely a longer game than you would think yeah absolutely by, by the look of it i'm like okay 12 rounds seems like 12 is a lot of rounds especially with four people mm -hmm. i mean you, you do end up with a, a lot, lot of actions later on in the game so it does start to get to get long uh towards the end but um but it's an exciting i think it's an exciting adventure and there's a lot of cool things to do and and some neat mechanics that are a little bit different. yeah i think it's like it's actually like a lot and you probably hopefully got this from us playing through it but mm -hmm. um it's i think very accessible mm -hmm. so there's not a ton of rules it's just kind of a, a really good intro to resource right. management not really production but like just resource management Managing your stuff, figuring out how you want to use your cards. And then set collection, um, really. Set collection, obviously. Yeah, a lot of that. Which is like my forte. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> That's like the, the crux of the game is really the set collection piece. and. Yeah, and getting up. And like I said, I really appreciate the balance mm -hmm. in like you need to push up to the end. Mm -hmm. um, that's the other thing. I think with a higher player count, um, it, it shouldn't take away from it too much because it's kind of predictable. Like you need to be moving up. You have uh, 12 rounds in the game and 10 spaces to move up to the to the peak. So you essentially can sit out two rounds and kind of camp without out moving. and do other things without moving. Um, I could see it getting frustrating if you are kind of early game or mid game mm -hmm. and maybe you're not paying attention to that and you realize suddenly like, oh crap, I'm... I have no way of winning this game now because I sat too long. Yeah. So you do have to keep an eye on that. You got to keep moving up the um, Because, again, we both made it, but had we not made it, we wouldn't you have been eligible. No matter how many points so. you have, you're out. Yeah, like, that's exactly. it. You can't win the game. Right. So um, you definitely got to get to the top. But I think that's intentional because, mm -hmm. again, it, it, you are supposed to be moving up this the trail, not is sitting and, like, doing a lot of destinations yeah. and stuff like that. you got to so. climb Mount Whitney. That's yes, it. That's exactly. the purpose of the game. But, yeah, we're not going to go, again, too much more into it, but yeah. um, like we said, we we think it's a it's a beautiful game. Mm -hmm. It was fun to play. Yeah. Um, I hope that you know it it gets its final tweaks and and it does well on Kickstarter. Yeah. So um, as always, let us know if this helped you make a decision whether or not this belongs in your collection. Mm -hmm. um, if you have any questions for us, always in the comments. Great place to leave those. Uh, we can get some answers for you and let you know how our experience was with it. Yep. 
So we hope you enjoyed the playthrough. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. We'll see ya.